I abandoned Postman for this workflow using this new set of tools that I find to be really much more better for the way I want to test and also document the APIs I work with. So a couple of months ago, I teased on Twitter that I'm abandoning Postman and it got a ton of reactions and some folks were trying to guess what I was abandoning it for, but no one really got it. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I abandoned Postman for as well as a special announcement at the end of the video. So please stick around to the end. So I've been using Postman for a while, like for testing my APIs and documenting them with Postman Collection. It was really, really superb, but I discovered a new workflow that I really like, and um, I want to show you what that is. So I currently don't have Postman installed on my machine because I haven't been using it for months now, thanks to this workflow that works for me and uh, i made a video that show a tiny part of it but that tiny part is what i use mostly so uh, if you could guess that video you could also comment below so let me show you what i mean right so this is what i abandoned postman for and it's called http sometimes i really miss the saying of the name but it's really cool http all right so it's just, you know, it's just calm to me. Like I like simple, the UI, it's simple. It works on the browser. Just, it's just amazing, but I don't really use it that much like this. I don't really use the GUI, but I want to show you the GUI for when I need it. So by default, this is how I use it. It has a CLI, all right? So the terminal is just amazing. You install it and you could make HTTP um calls like this and it's it's just really that good okay so let me show you how i'd use it so let's say um it's already installed on my machine so if i do http and uh, let's say i want to query the github api for example dot com slash users let's query for myself why not and when i do that you could see this so i'm a very terminal driven guy i mostly work in the terminal if you're if you're also like me you would definitely like this the convenience i made a video showing how this is better than call and that really got a like it really showed a lot of people the, like this is a good alternative right the the syntax is easy just http and then the endpoints you want to hit and you get to see your response with all the metadata like the really cool thing i like it also gives you the metadata as well so it's really really cool it's really, really fun there's so much things to do go check out that um, video i'll link to it somewhere but what i want to show you is the gui so over here in the http app so i have it downloaded which you could get from the website i can make the same request so let's http https api.github.com slash users then dominos kelvin and if i make this request you get to see first of all can we just take a minute to appreciate how uncluttered this is i i like this simple ui and really great experience the syntax highlighting is all good it's everything you get in postman but for me for my workflow this is much more simple where i just want to quickly test out an api of course you could do everything you want to do you put in params headers or you could also check the request so this is like the detail of the request the host and the user agent which is which is the HTTP that we used for it and i really really like this convenience so when i'm not using the cli tool which is like 80 percent of the time the one the 20 percent is when i just want like a gui i would definitely come for this and this is what i've been using for months now and it's the total replacements for postman for me and you might be wondering okay what about collections right if you want to share this to your team you can yeah it has collections but i don't really use the collections because i use treble for that Right, so with Treble, I get auto generated API docs. So if we'll check here, when I'm building my, my APIs, I no longer have to bother about manually writing it and keeping it in sync. I don't do that anymore, right? So Treble just take care of it because Treble is integrated and I can always share the URL to the docs for my Treble dashboard, right? I can make it public for anyone that I want to see or for the teams that need to see this. So everything is auto-generated. I never have to manually 
um, say, okay, I need a postman collection. So that has been my workflow really. And so, so to recap, the workflow, it's simple using the HTTP CLI tool for 80% of the time. And when I need a, like an interface, right? Like I need a GUI, I use this. Pretty simple, pretty just standard. I really like how the simplicity of it all. It also works with GraphQL and you know a ton of stuff that it does and it has ai integrated like i i didn't feel to so you say list all github users for example is going to generate the command for you like the the endpoint for you right and you just say accept put it in there and you just send it isn't that amazing All right so it has ai so it's called the HTTPI ai which you can just put in prompts and you just do that for this like to get so to get endpoints if you don't know the endpoints it could do that for you which is really really cool so this has been my workflow my workflow really using the http cli which is this one where i just get to make a request from my terminal then i go to the gui when i need it i don't need api collections because i already have them auto generated using treble so it's just an amazing experience for me for working and testing apis so let me know what you think in the comments if you think the http is really good and if this workflow is a suitable postman replacement and all that and for the announcement this is the 100th video i uh, will be okay this is the 100 video i'm uploading to youtube and also um i also got monetized on youtube thanks to you all watching and subscribing i really appreciate you all for that i never knew i'll be able to do like a hundred video on youtube because it I, it's i i never had that in mind but i just kept making videos i like and trying to share value so i really appreciate everyone that has watched this watched my videos you know shared them subscribe to the channel you all rock and speaking about watching subscribing please make sure you like and subscribe this video um and youtube is also going to suggest a video for you to watch please watch it and also share because it helps the channel grow thank you